Hi, in my previous video, I showed you how you can very efficiently create electric impulses. Now I'm going to show you how you can use these impulses to levitate a piece of aluminum foil. Hi, my name is Ivo and I'm doing research into Nikola Tesla's impulse electricity. The circuit that I use is the same high side switch which I showed in my previous video. Except I now have added a capacitor of 1.2 nanofarads in parallel to the coil. This is the circuit diagram. The capacitor lowers the resonant frequency of the coil which prolongs the duration of the impulse. At the same time, it lowers the voltage of the impulse. I'll show you this in the experiment. I did this to push more power into the impulse, so it is able to push up the aluminum foil. Because the impulse is not only a voltage half wave, but also a current half wave, and together this voltage and current produces real power. Let's take a look at the setup. Okay, this is the setup. I've got my diode, my capacitor that stores the energy of the second half wave, which is over here. And this I have added. This is the parallel capacitor, which increases the capacitance of the resonance system of L1, of the coil. And this lowers the frequency of the resonance, which means that the, the cycle, the period, is being prolonged. And since I only use the first half wave of that cycle, which is the impulse, I can prolong the duration of the impulse by the added capacitance. And because it's prolonged, I can push in more energy into the impulse because I'm limited to around 3000 volts. And when I've got a fast duration, I can only put a little bit of energy in it, but if I've got a longer uh, duration, I can put a lot more energy into that impulse and give it more power. Let's first turn off all those capacitors because I've got switches on them. And I'll show you how that looks on the scope. And here's the impulse. So I can push it up to 3000 volts. Really easy. I've got now two times 12.9 volts input from the power supply at 0.26. So that's not a lot of power. It's not enough power to push the aluminum foil up. So I need to get more power into that impulse and this can be done by adding the capacitance. So I'm now gonna leave all the settings, turn the system off, switch the capacitors parallel to the coil into the system again. And now I'll turn the system on and you can see the duration of the impulse is much longer. First we had 700 nanoseconds and now we've got around 1700 nanoseconds of impulse. And the voltage as you can see is now decreased. So I can push a lot more power in. I'm going to push up the power supply to its maximum. Now again I've got minus 3000 volts but the power now is increased to 0.46 amps at 2 times 32.2 volts, which is of course a lot more energy going into that impulse at the same frequency. And now I've got enough power to lift the aluminum foil. I'll first show it from the top, which isn't really spectacular, so I'll also make a clip with my phone. So you can see it working from the side. I'm gonna spin it and it keeps spinning because it is floating on top of the coil. And it will become very hot very quickly due to the magnetic induction inside that aluminum foil. The aluminum foil creates a counter magnetic field. It, it is being induced and that's why it's floating above the coil. I'll now show you the phone clip that is a little bit more clear about what is happening. So here's the flat coil. It's already running. I'm gonna insert the aluminium foil and I'll let it go. 
and you can see it's floating and getting very hot. Isn't that beautiful? That's the power of the impulse. And it starts smoking because there's a little bit of oil residue on the aluminum foil. I'll do it one more time. And there it is floating. Isn't that beautiful? I can just drop it up and it will move sideways way. But I'll have to be careful because there's a lot of bare wires. So I prefer this and I can spin it around and it's just floating. Isn't that beautiful? Let me take it over here. So yeah, it's whoop, <laughs> it's it's getting hot and it starts burning the oil. So yeah, that's it. My aluminum foil had a layer of oil on it, which was not intended, but it started smoking, which showed the heat of the coil nicely. The levitation of the foil is nothing new, but the way how it is being levitated and the amount of power it takes to levitate is rather interesting. Take a look at my previous video if you want to understand more about this special circuit that recycles the energy. If you want to donate to fund my research, you can use the PayPal link which is listed below and which is also present in the video description. That's it for now. Happy holidays and see you next time.